Hello! So it has been a while since I made an update video regarding my health. Between February to April, there was nothing. However, in May, I got appointments left and right, and I'm here to talk about them. Like in my previous health videos, this will just be kitty talking. So feel free to play a game while listening to this. If you're here about the injections, you're gonna have to wait roughly two weeks. Something happened and I'm very annoyed about it, but it's slowly being sorted out. Let's talk about the first appointment. This happened roughly... four weeks ago, I believe. I thought this was going to be about the pelvic floor exercises that I got referred to in January where I saw that doctor in London, but then the letter said about the colorectal surgery department. I was a bit confused as to why I would get pelvic floor exercises on the surgery department, but I thought, okay, let's see how this goes. I saw the doctor and I did let him know about the bleeding issues I've been having. For the past few months, I seem to bleed every time I go for a bowel movement. And apparently, according to the doctor, that was normal? I don't think bleeding from my ass every time I go is normal, but alright, I guess. I guess I'll trust this doctor. I sat down with him, and this was not about my pelvic floor exercises. So, I don't know which doctor referred to, referred to this doctor about this. Um, but apparently, they want to do a stoma surgery on me. This... It's not a good idea. I don't want a stoma. I can make a PowerPoint presentation why a stoma could be the worst thing for me. I know for a fact that this is not going to fix my prolapsed bowel or the severe stomach pain I keep getting. An ACE would be the best surgery for the current situation that I am in. After doing research, even though my appendix has been removed two years ago, I can still get an ACE procedure. I did decide to go on their waiting list because I got told that I could be waiting for at least six months for the stoma surgery, but I've got so many questions about the stoma. I want to know what it's like to have a stoma. Even though I do not want the stoma, I want to find out more about it. Even after researching online, I can't seem to find what I'm looking for. Alright, let's move on to the um, second appointment. Let's go on to London. I went to London roughly two weeks ago. And here's the funny thing, both of my trains got cancelled, going to London and coming back home. I was able to find trains that were able to take me there and back, but I was almost late to my appointment and I'm not exactly happy about that. So this appointment was about my pelvic floor exercises, and there's a reason why it took almost four months for the referral. For some strange reason, the first referral did not go through. I have no idea whose fault this is, but after a second attempt, it went through. And here's the great thing about this woman, she gave me probiotics, and I had taken those probiotics. Free for two months? Yes please. I've been on these for a while, and you might be wondering, has it helped? Well, I need to give it more time before I know if it has helped or not, and if it does help, it's going on Kitty's throne. Look at that description. She gave me literature and exercises that I have never done before. I had been on the pelvic floor department seven years ago and I'm actually shocked that I have never gotten given this literature or these types of exercises in the past. And of course, I did get examined and she was shocked that she could see the prolapse bowel as soon as she examined me and I did, I did explain to her about the situation I was in, how some doctors could not help me and how I had to go private, and some NHS doctors just want me to have a stoma. As it turns out, a stoma is the cheapest bowel procedure that you can do on a patient. And I'm very happy that I met this woman. She knew what was going on, and we were able to bond very quickly. I'll be speaking to her in June for a telephone appointment, and hopefully seeing her again face to face sometime in July. It will take a few more weeks before if I know the exercises will be of any benefit. So let's move on to a couple of more, um, other things, I would say. I am seeing one of my surgeons in June to tell him that, well, um, the NHS recommended me a stoma and I don't want that. Can you recommend me to someone who can do an ace on me? Also, if you guys do want a PowerPoint presentation about why Kitty does... My kitty doesn't want to get a stoma, do, do let me know, because I am willing to make a stream about it, and hopefully I can educate you Yankos about it. So, I guess this is, um, video update free. 
Hopefully this will go on to maybe update number video 5 as the maximum. And by the time I reach the 5th update video, I'll have the um, surgery and be on the way to um, recovery and hopefully not be on the verge of death. And if surgery does become on the expensive side, then I'll see if I can do some special long ass streams or maybe some subathons to hopefully raise some money. I am not dying before Freddy because of this shitty ass bell condition. I want to live for a very long time. And of course, Kitty wants to be here to entertain you, Yankos. Thank you for listening. See you in the next one. Bye.